What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my um, channel leads and you enjoy my content, you can ring the bell and buy my soul tribe. Um, you can just press the sub button if you're notified. If you want to be notified if you treat it, just saying. This is um, week three is reading for a sign of Libra for November of 2021. This resonates with Libra in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Benham, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, I got one channel in as I was meditating on your week three's energy. And the message I received was transmuting the energy is what I heard. Transmuting the energy. So for those of you that don't know, transmutation is basically um, changing. It's taking something and turning it around. And making it work for you, basically. Like boomerang energy. Basically is what that is. So it's taking what is given to you. It's kind of like taking lemons and making them into lemonade in a physical state, uh, physical viewpoint. Um, like taking lemons. You're given lemons. That's all you're given is lemons. For example, hypothetically. All you're given is lemons. You're going to take them the lemons and make it to something that's profitable or that can work for you. So you're going to take the lemons and make the lemonade and be able to sell the lemonade and it will give you money. And then you can positively transmute that out to the universe and make it work for you. That's how I take that trans. So transmuting the energy would be taking somebody's negative energy, turning, taking a deep breath, turning it around, Musan, and then boomeranging it back to them, like killing them with kindness energy. It's kind of like what that is. If anybody, needs, it's like killing them with kindness. It's even though you're pissed and you're stressed and you're frazzled because they're pissed and stressed and frazzled and they're trying to transmute it and project it upon you, you're going to turn it around on them, basically, um, and project it out and kill them with kindness. And it, it pisses them off even more, but it makes you feel better because you didn't suit down to their level, basically, if that makes sense. Um, so I think one of you guys is about to transmute the energy onto somebody else and kill them kindness. It's exactly what I think. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have for Son Libra. Six of Wands reversed, Seven of Pentacles upright. A particular Libra has respect, lots and lots and lots of respect for a Leo. They never thought they would, but they do. Feminine Leo. And a particular Leo, I'm sorry, not Leo, Le, uh, Libra, Le, Libra is about to lose huge respect, huge respect for one particular masculine Leo and one Pisces. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, dear God. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So... You never thought you would have respect for one Fem Leo, if that resonates for you, but you do. Or you're starting to, however that resonates. Um, and because everybody's on a different time of life path, so you have to plug yourself in where it resonates. Um, but on the flip side, you are starting, you either just lost respect or you're starting to lose respect for a Pisces and a masculine Leo. Um, they could have uh, Pisces or Leo, masculine Leo. And there's some moon rising, Venus, North Node, Mid Hamer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Really finding out some huge truths. Huge. Okay. I heard really finding out some huge truths. So you're really finding out some huge truths. I think on the Fem Leo, the Masculine Leo, and the um, um, Pisces. Um, they could have Leo or Pisces. Heavy, heavy, heavy Leo energy in here. Some Masculine, some Fem. And Piscean energy, 
They could have Leo or Pisces and they're subminimizing Venus, North, them and hanging Jupiter, if that, if that resonates for you. Uh, but you're finding out some serious truths. It sounds like you were lied to in a huge way. Um, but for strategic manipulative purposes, but you're finding out the real truth now. So now it's causing you to see these people in different viewpoints because you were lied to so badly. Excuse me. And that's a freaking lootly. Yeah. I mean, people can't expect to go around just lying, lying, lying to folks. And then, you know, and then when they find out the truth, them not being pissed. Oh, oh cool. what? You know, that doesn't make any sense. Six of Wands reverse, Seven of Pentacles upright. A particular Libra is feels very stuck right now because they're really trying hard to get their money up. But it's going to end up being the best thing that ever happened to you. Getting yourself financially correct. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, you feel stuck right now. But I think it's because you're trying to get yourself financially aligned. Um, for some, I feel you creditors could be coming after you. For some, I feel you could be like five, ten thousand um, k in debt, possibly. Uh, like creditors coming after you, like serious, serious financial issues. If this resonates with you, but I heard you're getting, you're going to get out of it. You're going to get out of it, and you are working to get out of it. But it makes you feel stuck energetically because it. I think you're working so damn much trying to get yourself out of the financial hole. But I heard in the end, it's going to be the best thing for you. And that's a freaking lootly, yeah. If you, especially if you got like loan shark energy or payday loan energy coming after your ass, um, you, those people are never, never good. Loan sharks, payday um, energy, it's never good because it puts you into a huge freaking financial rut. Trust me, I used to date somebody like that. And it was, a, I cared for them. That's the only reason I stayed around. But it was exhausting trying to help them financially get out of that hole. And I'm just being serious. I'm being so serious about that. Um, I will never date anybody in a financial hole like that again, ever. Because I try, I helped and helped and helped this person. And it's like they just took advantage, which they did. Looking back, they did. But but it's, it's, it's exhausting. So nobody likes to date people like this or be around people like this because it's exhausting. So you getting yourself, uh, if this resonates with you, you getting out of this financial hole, yeah, it'd be nothing but good for you. And if you are single, people you're dating. And I'm just being real real about that. So this is you working, working, working hard to get out of the financial hole. And this is you feeling energetically stuck because I feel you're working so much right now to get out of the financial hole. And I heard it's going to be the best thing for you in the long run. But it really, really, really will. It really will if this resonates for you. Trust me. I'm 38. I've had a lot of life experience. Um, I've dated, you know, I've dated several people. And I told you the one I dated about uh, that was in freaking financial mess from hell energy. And he really was. Um, it's exhausting dating these kind of people. So, yes, this is going to be the best for you in the long run for sure if this resonates for you. This is you digging out of the financial hole, seven of pinnacles upright. You're working, 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 steady working to get out of the financial hole. This is you feel energetically stuck, if that resonates. Spirit messages, do you have for the sign of Libra? Clip-on and nipple clamps. Oh, my God. What? I heard clip-on and nipple clamps. So you plug it in how that resonates. Clip-on and nipple clamps. Um, now, clip 
Clip on, I can take it take it as a sexual realm. I'm just being serious. Um, well, usually it's called strap on. Maybe there's something called a clip on. I don't know. Uh, but clip on, nipple clamps, we all know what those are. Pew, 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 onto the nipples, just saying. Um, clip on, maybe that's something sexual. If it is, I've been out of the sexual game for a long time. I haven't had sex in two years. So um, if there's something sexual related called clip on, I have no freaking clue. I don't know. But um, clip ons can be clip on pair extensions, like clip on with your hair. That is a clip on. If it's something sexual related, I don't know. Because like I said, I haven't had sex in two years. So that's not my game or forte, just saying. Um, but some kind of clip on energy and um, nipple clamps. So nipple clamps, you know, that's, we all know it's nipple clamps are, just saying. Well, most people do. You can Google nipple clamp if you, if you do not know what nipple clamps are. But it's used to either self-please yourself or your partner please you. Uh, for stimulation, for um, to activate the nerve extensions in your breast um, area um, to make it more pleasurable. Um, when you're pleased, self-pleasing yourself or your partner is self-pleasing yourself or several partners are self-pleasing you if that, that's what you're into. Um, that's what the nipple clamps are used for. As far as hair clip, uh, yeah, I don't know what that crap that is. Um, I mean, not hair clips. Um, the clip part i don't know what the crap that is um you guys can let me know in the description box below if you know what the crap that is but that's what i heard so somebody either somebody's buying new nipple clamps or you're buying nipple clamps or you utilize nipple clamps or you enjoy nipple clamps or somebody you're connected to does and the clip energy whatever the crap that is y'all can let me know what that is somebody's into that too i'm thinking like hair clips or something you plug it in how it resonates Queen of Swords upright, Ten of Wands upright. A position of high authority, Libra, is about to really stand up for a family. A family they have dealt with in the past and recently. They're about to stand up for them in a huge way and create many, 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 many positive series of chain events for them. They know they deserve it. They have been severely wrong in the past. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. Well, this is a good one, Leaves, if this resonates for you. So I heard a Libra position of high authority. So um, whatever position of high authority, if this resonates for you or somebody you're connected to, it's a Libra position of high authority. So maybe it could be you, Leaves. Maybe it's somebody you're connected to, but it's a position of high authority, Libra. And um, they have dealt, it could be, you maybe you're the family they're dealing with for some of you guys maybe you're the family they're dealing with but um it's a family they've dealt with in the past and recently so it's a family they know um but they know they've been wronged in a huge 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 way this libra does position of high authority libra it could be masculine or femme libra um and they're about to help them out i heard in many 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 huge ways so i um they know this family's been wrong. It sounds like they have just gotten the information or maybe for some they've known for a minute, but maybe they were strategically trying to plan on how to help them or get the full information or what have you. This is really going to create huge, huge, huge positive changes for this family. You know they definitely deserve it and they do. Okay, I heard this is going to create huge, huge, huge uh, positive changes for this family. I heard you know they definitely deserve it, and they do. So um, this family definitely deserves it, but you know they do. You're highly intuitive, Libra, position of authority, Libra, if this resonates with you. And I heard you know they deserve it, and I heard from spirit they do. Um, and absolutely, you know, if you deserve something, absolutely. Now, being selfish and greedy and just taking, taking, taking on what's not yours 
Now that's a different story. That that breeds like nastiness. That one that breeds criminal activity, but two, it just breeds like low morality and low standards, and it's just it's just low vibrational nasty energy. Just seriously, if you don't deserve it. But whoever this is for, you do. I mean, they do. This family deserves it. But you are the position of high authority. In this situation, Libra, if this resonates with you, for some, you could be the family. You could be a member of the family, a Libra in the family, possibly. You plug in it. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, but honesty, truth, and clarity to this position of high authority. And if you are the family, honesty, truth, and clarity to you when you learn the good news um, that you're about to get helped out in wonderful, huge ways. I heard you truly deserve it, family. You have the family. You have the Ten of Wands upright if you connect in with the family. So huge ass burden, basically huge, huge, huge ass burden because um, you wasn't. It sounds like you were neglected and abused and not taken care of in the past, family. That's exactly what it sounds like. But the position of high authority, Libra, is about to really, really help out the family. Single parent and family. Okay, I heard single parent and family. So it's a single parent and family. This position of high authority Libra is about to help out. Um, that's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. It's going to create huge positive changes in this family's life. Huge. You just have no idea. Okay, I heard it's going to create huge positive changes in this family's life. Huge. You have no idea. So you're about to be a huge freaking blessing to a family that sounds like was new neglected or abused or exploited or what have you in the past you're about to be a um, catalyst for huge positive changes to this family's life basically high position high authority libra if that resonates with you th that's good energy spirit messages you have for some libra A police officer Libra is about to ask out a Pisces. Spirit messages here after Libra. Okay, I heard a police officer Lib uh, Libra is about to ask out a Pisces. So if that's for you, police officer Libra, you're about to ask out a Pisces. They could have Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, police officer Libra. You can be masculine or femme. The Pisces can be masculine or femme. You plug it in how it resonates. Police officer Libra. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Nest and emotionally, emotionally secure loving family is important to you. A position of high authority, Libra, is about to create a series of chain of events to jail several people. It's going to, this is going to end up being very, very public all around the community. And it's going to create many series of chain of events to stop serious crime in this community. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I'm pulling in a position of high authority, Libra, very, very, very strong, whoever you are. Um, and I'm serious about that. Very strong. I heard a position of high authority, Libra, is about to um, create a series of chain of events. I heard for a um, several people, several people soon. Um, and it's going to, the series of chain of events sounds like it's going to precipitate um more series of chain of events to kind of clean up, uh, well, not kind of, that is going to clean up crime in the community. So it's like crime that's been going on for a hot minute. Uh, for a long time. For a long time. But it was masked, masked to you. But now you know the truth. Okay. It's been going on for a long time. I heard position of high authority, Libra. But it was masked, masked to you. So M-A-S-K-E-D. It was masked. It was hidden from you. 
it was basically people were telling you it was one thing when it was another basically like false mask energy but it's not now you know the truth though you know the real truth now you know really what was going on in the past you didn't but now you do but um i, I heard you're gonna create a series of chain of events to jail some of these people but the series of chain of events when you jail them it's going to create other series of chain of events for other something else to happen it sounds like a domino ripple effect to happen for more information to come out and more crap to be exposed and it sounds like cleaning of the streets energy or cleaning of um like exposing the mole energy or uh, cleaning house energy if that resonates if that resonates cleaning house like cleaning the community like metaphorical Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. A particular Libra is about to attempt to be blackmailed soon, but it's not going to work. This Libra is going to transmute the energy in a huge way, and it's going to bite this person in the ass in a huge way. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so strong. Oh, my God. I like you. This resonates with you. Oh, my God. I like you a lot. <laughs> I heard a particular Libra um, is about to attempt to be blackmailed. So someone's going to try to blackmail you. And I feel strong energy in here. I feel you, you're either a position of high authority or you, you're either a position of high authority and you know your worth and your standards and what have you. Or you are building yourself and manifesting your growing yourself up. You don't have any position of high authority. You could just be powerful inside yourself and you know your standards, you know your morals, you know your values, and you're not going to uh, lower to them you could have five dollars in your bank account or five million all of that resonates but you know the worth inside yourself is what i'm trying to say and you're not going to fall for the bullshit basically you're going to transmute the energy i heard onto them so you don't have to be a position of authority if this resonates with you you don't have to be you can just have a lot of standards and morals and values inside yourself do not lower your standards i don't care if you have five dollars in your fucking bank account or a freaking bank account or five million and i'm just being for real if this resonates for you okay you take the messages resonate and you leave the rest um, but you're going to transmute it remember we were talking about transmuting energy early in here earlier in here you're going to take it they're going to try to blackmail you so blackmail energy in this example they're going to try to blackmail you negative energy right you're not going to have it you're going to put it right back to them except you're going to put it out to them when you're not being blackmailed and you're going to tell them how it is and then it's going to create a negative series of chain of events for them because they try to blackmail your ass and you're, you are energetically above that, basically. And absolutely, absolutely, do not lower your standards. Do not fall for the bullshit. Do not be afraid. If you know, speak your truth, do not afraid to be afraid to speak your truth. Do not be afraid because that's what, that's how you can transmute energy back. That's how you can ward off negative people, basically, if that makes sense. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. A particular Libra is about to learn wonderful news from their grandchild, grandchildren for some. It's going to make them very happy, but it's also going to have them reminisce about another family that is really going through it right now when they should not be. A very important phone call is going to be made by you regarding this family. Okay. You are pulling a family in like nobody's business, Libra. Holy crap, you are. Yes, you are. So um, if this resonates with you, um, I heard your grandchild and grandchildren for some. So you have grandchild or grandchildren if this resonates with you. Um, so for some, you could have one grandchild for some two plus grandchildren, um, but they're about to, is it, they're going to do something positive in the universe or in the world or what have you. So at school or at home or in their community or um, neighbor wise or what ball team, however that resonate. It could be karate, whatever it is. But basically, um, it's going to have you reminisce of a family is what I heard, of a family. N not your grandchildren I'm not feeling. I don't feel it's that family. I feel it's another family. Um, 
but I heard basically it's going to have you reminisce on another family that's been doing, been done wrong. Um, I feel some in the past, recent past, and some right now they're being done wrong. But you know about this. You know about this. And I heard it's going to cause you, you care about this family. You care about this family, but you know they're being done wrong. So I think for some, you might have been blackmailed in the past and you kind of gave into it. Or for some, you're just learning they're being, um, being done wrong. Or you know something's not right and you know they're being done wrong and you didn't do anything. You had nothing to do with it. However, that resonates. I feel like you go several ways. You have to play yourself in how it fits. But however it resonates, I heard you're going to um, make a phone call and make some action happen, basically. Once you get this internal memory basically of this family it's like i feel like it's some kind of internal subconscious thought or memory you're going to have of this family uh, because you know you're, they're being wrong now because the truth's coming out the truth's coming out because you're pulling this family in so strong the truth's coming out in the past you didn't know but you do know now or you're about to learn it um and it's going to cause you to make a very important phone call which is going to cause great action to help the family so nest and emotionally secure loving family is important to you but it's going to start with the with your grandchild or grandchildren doing something and wonderful but you being happy for your grandchild or grand grandchildren grandchildren if this resonates with you is going to subconsciously make you think of this other family that's being done wrong because you care about the other family um so you plug it in how that resonates if that resonates for you it is going to piss an Aries off in a huge way, in a Gemini. But you know it's the best, and it most certainly is. Okay, I heard it's going to piss an Aries and a Gemini off in a huge way, but you know it, uh, it's for the best, and you're right, it is. Um, so, yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, um, I heard it's going to piss off an Aries and a Gemini. Aries and Gemini masculine. Okay, I heard Aries and Gemini masculine. So it's going to piss off an Aries and Gemini masculine. But I heard you know, Leaves, that it's the best for this family. And probably for you internally. Because it, you're having like internal grief and strife over here. Because you know they're being done wrong. Or you're about to learn they're being done wrong. And it makes you feel sad inside. No, And nobody should be done wrong or feel, made to feel sad inside. And somebody's trying to blackmail you. So to kind of snuff all that crap out you can transmute it back and you know start the process of doing the right thing everything's out open in the air and then nobody's being done wrong for the ones that shouldn't be done wrong now somebody's about to go to jail but it sounds like in all fairness they deserve it and that's just the truth all right let me see if i hear anything else Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped for real. Everybody make wonderful choices. Um, and namaste.